Open the package and switch on. The light flickers for about 30 seconds while the anti-fog system warms the lenses. Lubricate the ET tube at the blade. Keep the lenses clean. Insert the tube until the tip is even with the distal end of the guiding channel. In emergencies, the air track can be used during the warm-up period. Insert along the patient's midline. To avoid pushing the tongue inward, fully insert the tip of the air track before rotating it up. Look through the eyepiece to identify the airway structures. If you can't see the landmarks, withdraw a little and pull up the air track. Do not insert too deep. Once in front of the glottis, align the vocal cords in the center of the view by twisting clockwise or counterclockwise. To obtain full exposure of the glottis and to facilitate tube insertion, it may be necessary to withdraw the air track slightly. In all cases, it must be lifted up. Slowly push the ET tube in without twisting. Only advance when the vocal cords are in the center of the image. If the tube hits any tissue or tends to go to the esophagus, withdraw the air track by rotating back and lifting it up so it's not too close to the glottis. Introducing it too deep can make inserting the tube difficult. To remove, grasp the ET tube, pull it laterally away from the guiding channel and rotate back and out of the mouth. AirTrack is a single patient use device and should be disposed of after use. To remove the batteries, pull off the viewfinder cover, remove the battery cover and the batteries. Discard as per protocol. Dispose the remains of the AirTrack as standard contaminated medical waste.